My name is Daniel Pellegrini. About a year ago, I had just gone out of a relationship. It was difficult and I was in a really bad uh, place. But I wanted to try again. I wanted to feel something again. So I asked a friend what I should do and they, they told me some advice. They told me, if you can take care of a flower, you can take care of a relationship. And so I did. It was the greatest feeling alive. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, maybe we might get lucky here. Maybe we won't. But we're going to see what we're going to do. You know, I was in there in the Home Depot. And in that moment, I knew that I had found her. Holy moly. I had found Rose. Oh, hey, baby. How are you doing? You doing good? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Hey, yo, man. I just got her number. I think that means a second date. If I didn't tell you that in those truly incredible moments that I had shared with her, that I did not have the best moments of my life, I would be lying. When winter came, things began to become much harder for Rose and I. She began her annual, where apparently most flowers die in the winter. You know, I, I tried telling a doctor, you know, help her I, I need to save her and he simply said this is normal and it'll most likely grow back in the spring and I'm not even a real doctor and <laughs> and, and those words you know saying what was happening to her was normal it was it broke me I tried everything. I tried making her meals. I tried keeping her warm. I tried buying a heat lamp for her, but those are expensive and I, I knew I could never afford the cost. By this point, uh, I knew there was only one way to go, and that was to make best of the time that we had left. This is gonna make the best roast veggie stew. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hmm. I also wanted to get everything in time prepared for the baby. No, no, not that baby. That baby. Poppy. My part of Rose. Poppy was one of the last great joys she was able to see before. Before. I'm sorry, I. <laughs> I need a moment. I. Last May, um, Poppy drew this uh, for Rose on Mother's Day. It's just. It's beautiful. I just wanted to make this, you know, and show that there are still amazing things like Rose in this world that I hope that by making this her example can forever be remembered in something incredible such as this. So, thank you for listening to my story. <laughs>